Hello, my beautiful Virgo vibe drivers. Welcome to your February 16th through 28th, 2023 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all Virgos, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. While we're on the subject, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Those likes help to promote my videos out into the great Google algorithm, and I appreciate all of that. If you'd like to subscribe, that's wonderful as well. It'll give you notifications when I'm posting. Also, you'll notice there's a join button down below. If you haven't joined my channel, check it out, and you'll get extra readings and different perks that come along with that. So, without any further ado, my Virgo friends, let's see what crack a lackin'. Well, we have some real, real wonderful energy here. This is restoration, renewal, clearing out all past toxic energy, illness, disease, all of that stuff that kept you unbalanced. This is the cosmic garbage man saying, give us your trash. We are going to take that and purge it, clear it, and release it. Then you have a fresh, clean slate. So it's like somebody coming in and just literally giving you the once over in the house and you come back and it looks like a whole new house, right? So this one is energetic. So it will make your entire energy shift back to positive and let you free of past things. Now we have what's happening in the rejuvenation portion. This is the judgment card in Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel is blowing the horn of resurrection. It means restoring, renewing, reviving, bringing something that you previously thought might not work out and now here it is happening. He is championing whatever you're trying to get done. It is showing back up for you. So yay team, let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. So you have the two of wands, which is a wonderful energy of knowing that there is no wrong answer going forward. You can choose what you feel is your best option and not be in fear that it was the wrong choice. These two start off in a very similar location and they run parallel, which means they're going to end up in a very similar location. This is not something going two directions differently. It's a fork in the road that has happened without your making something happen. You haven't made the choice. The choice is available to you. So it's either choice, sorry, either choice will be absolutely part of the best possible outcome. So don't be afraid of, of what you choose. Just make sure it's what you want. And not somebody else's idea. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising to have the information they seek. To assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much Divine for these blessings and beautiful messages. And we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. All right, here we go. All right, so this is some resistance. It may be your own resistance or someone else trying to impose their will upon you. It is not going to go well for the person opposing you because you have someone backing you. So these are really minor immature energies. So they're not, as you can see, they look kind of wimpy, the, for lack of a better word. Um, they're not really strong and you're not going to have a hard time g getting past this obstacle. Just know it's a challenge and it's not a big one. So you won't, you won't come back with, uh, you know, a bunch of bunch of knots on your head from them. You're just going to be able to move forward past it pretty easily. You just have to be willing. The hardest part is going, oh God, I have to, I have to take a stand, right? That's no big deal. You just move past it. Now, we have the magician, which is reminding you, you are the one in control of what you receive in this life. What you focus on and pull through your heart is going to be what you receive. It doesn't have to show up exactly how you think it will, but it will show up because you're magnetizing the energy through your focus. So pulling in the divine light directly from that crown chakra, holding it in your heart, and then focusing on the outcome you want. 
we have the seven of cups. The seven of cups is the dump truck load of blessings. Now, it is a wonderful, wonderful card. It means all these good things are coming in. It just means they all show up at the same time. So allow yourself to move through each thing one bite at a time. Don't try to eat the thing whole because that's what's going to cause a problem. Just move through one slice, one bite, one piece. Next piece, next bite, next slice. Just keep it moving. And there's the release of the tendency to feel like you're being overwhelmed. Or even though you may have felt like you had a target on your back, maybe rightfully so, but it's breaking the hold of you right now. The Ten of Swords is the release of all toxic energy, all negativity, all illness and disease. This is letting go of what no longer serves you on a grand scale. So the target is off your back and you can now breathe freely again. Now we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is the energy of Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini Major Arcana, but it also means being able to speak your truth, and people around you are noticing. Now, if you have a psychic gift, this can also be part of that enlightening energy as it comes in to awaken that gift, but it is the energy of being able to stand very assuredly in your power. We have the Seven of Pentacles, which is the energy of the Seven beautiful, beautiful pieces of gold that are developing into the harvest. As you see, each one of these pinnacles is securely in the tree and, and is being well cared for by the keeper here. That means when it's time for harvest, you're going to have the wonderful energy of the perfect bounty because you're, you've been taking the right care, you've been investing in the right things, and things are going to pay off. And boy, do they ever. We have the Ten of Cups energy. Yay, Virgos. This is divine alignment in your household energy. This means health, wealth, happiness, joy, abundance, and prosperity. Literally, your best possible life now. So, household is looking very good. Very much bringing you back into your power and feeling very comfortable. And we have the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is the energy of having passed the test or the gauntlet. One of my guides keeps saying, the gauntlet, the gauntlet. So this is the energy of being able to say you're on the other side of the worst part of it. And now you can see what's out in front of you. And you have the moon guiding you. So you can actually pick. Remember that two of rods? You get to pick whatever choice you want to move forward and just go with what you choose. Whatever resonates with you will be the right thing. Another eight. So you have how many eights out here now? Okay, that's a seven. So two eights so far. The eights are a big deal because it's the infinity symbol. Secondly, it means you have now started a phase of something. And this is the communication, travel. If you're traveling somewhere by air, this is the energy of that. And being able to move forward and see the big wide world. It also means lots of new charged energy. So lots of new experiences. We have the Five of Cups, which is where we have a little bit of where we're lamenting over something that has happened. And just because we're going through the changes may actually be what's triggering and you're kind of uncertain. Don't feel guilty that you're in the energy of wanting to move forward when maybe not everyone else is. Um, just allow yourself to turn your back on what's holding you in that grief or in that place of fear and let it go so that you can move forward. Sorry about that, Jack. Jack has spotted the, the Amazon truck. And here's the tower. So the tower is being released from what was holding you back, holding you captive, feeling stuck, feeling trapped, or feeling like there was something that was standing between you and what your goal is. Jack was really taking exception to the... To the it's because I have the blinds open and he can see the trucks outside. So apologies for the, the barking, but you know, what do you do? That's what dogs do. So this tower is all about letting the universe do the heavy lifting for you. And whatever it's releasing you from, it's going to clear the path so that you can move forward without any trouble whatsoever. So the tower is actually a very good energy. Boom, chakalaka. We have a, an official document. So this could be any kind of licensing, some kind of passport, uh, getting, getting granted your visa, being in the energy of um, a contract. 
you know, anything official. This is an official document. So this is this is showing up. So if you're if you're waiting with bated breath, there it is. Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Virgo, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Here we go. Ooh, hello. So, Stand up to the challenge. You you have the wheel of fortune on your side. <laughs> That's very much the energy of... So the tower is the energy of coming unstuck. This is the energy of coming unstuck and catapulting yourself past all obstacles even further than you could have done by yourself. This is where all red lights turn green, all doors open, all things that were blocking you fall to dust at your feet. And you are absolutely in the winner's circle here with that beautiful Wheel of Fortune. And it is also a 10. So that means you have three 10s out here, a tower, a magician, and the beautiful Queen of Swords. So I'm just saying, pretty big energy. There's your Manifestor's Moon right along with the magician telling you, pour your energy into the goal that you want, and it will begin to manifest in wholeness right in front of your very eyes. High Priestess, allow yourself to get into that high frequency and go with the flow. And that's exactly what that Seven of Cups recommendation is. Go with the flow, one thing at a time. Don't let yourself get overwhelmed or bogged down. You just do what you can when you can, as much as you can. And just don't, don't try to break your neck doing it. Hello, this is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a yes or a welcoming energy of something that you may have applied for or a new job. It can be at a corporation. It can be being accepted to a university. It is the Taurus Major Arcana. And it means that all is very well in your energy for your where you work. So we love that. Those of you looking for a new job, it looks like that Ten of Swords is going to erase that feeling of, of lack. Or change out what you feel has been targeting you. Six of Rods is a victory energy, and you can see the sun in the background. It's always a good omen. This is the energy of coming through the battle victorious. So if you've had some challenge in your household energy, maybe a health thing going on, this is you coming out shining like a brilliant star. Nine of Cups. This is the yes from the universe for you to have the celebratory energy of your heart's desire being granted. So... It looks like the abundance is coming through and all healing and beautiful celebratory energy because you have the nine leading into the ten of cups. That's a beautiful confirmation. And soul family. This is the six of cups and this means the people around you right now are truly, whether they're, they can be your relatives as well, but they are definitely your soul family energy. This is an offer coming in, the Four of Cups, which is the universe giving you some amazing opportunity, showing up, looking like something that you really don't know of the value of. Because when this comes in like this, you see how he's kind of trepidatiously looking down. He doesn't know if he wants to take that offer. Well, this is, this is a blessing in disguise. So you want to fully vet any opportunity that shows up to make sure you're not turning away this one. Again, Ten of Swords, this is the release. Now, if you've been through some kind of major illness, this is also that kind of energy, releasing that toxic energy or the target being on your back. It can also mean whatever's going on, the air is being cleared. It's like, that's what I'm hearing from my guides. So that this is fast moving energy of that Eight of Rods through the air. And this Ten of Swords is a result of it. So the air is being cleared is what one of them keeps repeating. And there's your Virgo Major Arcana. You come through it fully in your power, letting yourself be guided, using your high frequency. That's what this 
beautiful high priestess is all about. And there's the Merkaba energy, which is the, the vessel of the soul, the chariot of the soul. So it's telling you, you are fully in your power now, and, you, and you're now releasing whatever you just got over, and you're able to move forward. And the Two of Swords is reminding you, don't get hyper-focused on any of these things you see here. Stay in your focus of what you want and keep your goal fresh in front of you and let everything work in your favor because it is all trying to, very much so. So allow yourself just to move forward because you don't have to know the details. You just have to know what your goal is. And we let that go and move forward in the energy of releasing our need for it to make sense. Miracles don't make sense, my darling Virgos. We have to be in a place of being open to them and letting them form as they will. They are organic to each of us in every way. I send you lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace, happiness, joy, abundance, and divine prosperity to you all with a ton of healing. I love you guys and I will see you in March. Namaste, my friends.